Da -da -da. Annette, so professional. Look at that profile photo. Um, awesome. Happy Saturday, guys. That's a little chilly outside. Let's uh, take a look at our workout. All right, so we have running with scissors today. Something you don't want your kids to do. Uh, it's a 20 minute AMRAP. <clears throat> and we are starting with a run. So it's 200 meter run. Um, again, depending on if you have something mapped out or not. If not, basically it's about a minute run. So if you run away from your house or in your background, uh, backyard for like a minute. But if you run away, go 30 seconds, turn around and come back. All right. Um, we've got some high knees and butt kickers. We can sub with toe taps, stairs, or you could always just pace around. Nice little speed walk. Um, then we've got 30 alternating V-ups. So these are going to be one leg at a time on the V-ups. Um, other than that, pretty uh, similar movement to your traditional V-up. Subbing today with lemon squeezes and or um, straight leg sit-ups or regular sit-ups. And then we've got 40 feet in uh, lateral planks, right? So that's kind of holding that plank position, walking side to side. Um, so today we've got two breast side planks or we could do suitcase carries, right? Uh, the equipment version, provided you have a pull-up bar um, to hang off of, is going to be toaster bar. All right, so um, if you're doing toes bar, it's gonna be 15 and 20 reps as opposed to the 30 reps, okay? Um, so let's talk movements or kind of demo. Um, so the running again, running, um, subs for that, high knees and butt kickers. So you'd be doing 15 seconds of high knees, right? And then 15 seconds of butt kickers and basically do that twice. High knees, butt kickers, high knees, butt kickers. So you go for a minute. Um, for doing toe taps, right, you have that kind of lower object. You can do the slow ones or the quick ones. It's going to be 40 toe taps. If you got stairs to go up and down, um, we're going to be doing 50 stairs. Or again, you can just kind of pace around for a minute. All right, the alternating V-ups. So much like your traditional V-up, we're going to lay on the ground, fully extended, right? Try and let your heel touch the ground every rep. Um, enhance touch the ground. And then for this, we're going up. and reaching towards your toes, right? If you can, try and shoot for straight leg V-ups. Um, if that starts to get a little bit harder, then you can always bend the knees, okay? But big thing here is the leg comes up and we want to get that torso high off the ground, right? Trying to hit basically a V position. Um, usually when we start to fatigue, it's kind of crunch and the legs go really high, right? So try and make sure we are still getting that torso up high off the ground, right? Especially those later rounds, it's a lot of core today. Um, so start freeing up, get that chest off the ground, right? Uh, subs today, we can go with some lemon squeezes. So again, starting that fully prone position, as you come up, you're gonna grab the knees and hug in a little bit, right? So that'll really help on getting your torso up, and that nice big hug at the top. Um, and then we can also go sit-ups. So if you're gonna do sit-ups, again, um, the reps can decrease. This depends on how you feel. So 20 to 30 reps. You can do your traditional kind of feet butterfly. Um, reach back, sit all the way up. Or we could go straight leg sit-ups. Okay. If you guys don't have an ab mat at home and you plan on doing the uh, sit-ups, you can always grab like, um, like a beach or a bath towel. Just kind of fold it. Fold, do like a little triple fold and triple fold. So you have a little bit of that kind of padding to go under your low back. Okay. Um, then our last thing is the lateral plank. So holding that plank position, push up plank, arms nice and straight, and then we go side to side. Right. So 40 feet would be um, 20 feet each side. If you don't have distance mapped out or you just have limited room where you can't really go that far, you could do one step at a time or maybe like two steps. It's basically like eight to 10 in each direction, right? Or on each side. So if you don't really have distance mapped out, just go like eight to 10 steps, right? Um, subs to that, we can do our two breast side plank. So again, forearm plank or straight arm, your choice. Stack those feet, make sure our hips aren't sagging down. Squeeze everything, take two deep breaths. That would be one rep. Flip sides, take two deep breaths, that would be two reps. 
work up to 12, so six on each side, um, or we can do suitcase carry. So we have an object to carry, suitcase is one armed. So belly tight, I'm just gonna walk, and that's gonna be 80 feet. So um, you know, if you have that mapped out, or roughly, you probably kind of go back and forth for like 30 seconds. Right? And you can kind of switch arms as you need to. All right, so those are our movements for today. Um, let's get into our warm up. So we're gonna start with some sumo toe touches. Think like when we do rock stars. So legs as straight as you can, and we're gonna go opposite. So I'm gonna take my right hand, again, straight legs, reach down to my toe, hold for a second, come all the way back up, squeeze the glutes, and then switch sides, okay? And try and keep the legs straight. So if you feel like you gotta bend the knees a little bit, maybe try winding that stance a little bit. We do 10 total. Five each side. Yeah, once you've done your 10, we're gonna lay on our back and do some glute bridges. So put those heels down. Right over a little bit, right, drive up to your heels, right to where you can squeeze your glutes, belly tight, hold for a second, and then come back down. Right, 15 glute bridges. Once you've done your 15, you can flip over. We're gonna do some planks, we'll do them together. Um, so it's gonna be our regular plank, forearm or straight arm, your choice. Um, then we're gonna go side plank and side plank. So 20 in each, again, we'll hold them together. Let's get to that regular plank. Three, two, one, and up. We are holding for 20 seconds. And try and lock those legs, so actively squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes. And think kind of like a hollow, so you're going to push up a little bit into that low back. Yeah, two, one, and switch. Let's go to the side and up. All right, side plank, guys. Remember, if you can, stack those feet. If you feel a little off balance, just stagger them a little. Yeah, keep all in. Three, two, one. Switch sides. And up. Two, one, and rest. Awesome. Good stand up, guys. We're going to do some toy soldiers. So, Legs as straight as you can. Again, we're kicking up to the opposite hand. I'm gonna do 10 on each leg. Nice. Once you've done your toy soldiers, again, we're going to uh, lay back down on the ground. We're going to do 15 straight leg sit-ups. Right. So as you come up, uh, use those arms if you need to. Try and keep your legs as straight as you can. And just reach forward as far as you're comfortable going. If you're more flexible, reach for the toes or past your toes. And you're in 15.
Nice. One, two, you've done your 15. Straight leg sit-ups. We're going to do uh, our little run. So 200-meter jog. This is the same distance we're going to do in the workout. So if you have that mapped out, let's test that out. And if you don't have it mapped out, about 30 seconds away from where you're at, 30 seconds back. We can do our high knees, butt kickers, toe taps, stairs, or walk for a minute. Nice, Dave. So since, uh, Dave, since you're on a uh, treadmill for this kind of workout, when you finish your run, it might actually be better, like, don't stop. But, yeah, like, keep it running or just dial it down so it's not dead stopped every time you try and get back on it. Chrissy, it looks like there's snow behind you on the ground. <laughs> They're rocks. Oh, okay. I was like, what the? <laughs> All right. Once you guys are back, we're going to do some uh, alternating V-ups. So 10 total, so it's going to be five each leg. And if you can, think straight leg, point the toe, reach up. If you can't get your toes, that's fine. So reach as far as you can, but big thing is make sure our shoulders are coming high off the ground. All right, 10 total, five on each side. And then we're gonna do some lateral planks. All right, we're gonna do five steps in each direction. So again, if you have limited space, you can just do like one and one, or two steps, two steps. Um, if you can go the whole distance, five each side. Hey, Alan. Yes. So with the lateral planks, we're just kind of in plank. Just I missed when you were demoing it. So we're just going across? Yep. Yeah. So just in a plank position, and then you just start to move sideways. Okay. All righty. That is the end of our warm up. So, um, if we need subs, modifications, let's talk. Don't really need too much equipment today, aka none. <laughs> Anyone need? Sorry, Kay, can you say that again? With the planks, how many are we doing? Is it eight? Did I yeah. Pick that up? So basically, eight, um, so what I did was about eight steps for me. So I would say eight to ten for most people, each side, each direction. Hey, Alan, instead of lateral planks, how many push-ups should I do? Instead of lateral plank. Who was that? It's Keith. Oh, Keith. Because can you not plank? I got pavement here. I don't know. Oh, for the hands. Yeah. yeah I'd rather do push-ups anyway, but. Do you have a weight? Because we could do, um, okay, so you could do side bends. Why don't you do 15, 15 push-ups? Got it. Thank you. That'd be fun. <laughs> um, cool. I think everyone else is about ready. Yeah, just if you are doing your lateral plank outside, just watch your hands because especially on asphalt. That's hey, Alan. I'm, I'm sorry. How many V-ups again? 30. 30. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yep. So it'll be uh, 15 on each. And for the lateral planks, if we're just kind of going in a smaller space, how many did you say? It'll be 8 to 10 each direction. Okay. So if you did like 1, 1, 2, 2, just go like to 8 or 10, you know, depending on how you feel. Get a little workout up here. Da, da, da. Cool. Uh, let me get my clock. If you guys are ready to rock, just give me a little thumbs up. Alan, can, yes. can I do like less VFs? It a lot hurts my back in a row. 
Does uh, straight leg sit up feel better than V ups? They, they both kind of like a bar that bothering it. So I was like, oh, maybe if I do less. Yeah, cut, too many cut the reps down. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a, a 15 cut in half. Yeah, I was going to say 15. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll try both and see what feels better, but it's usually yeah, just too if, much of it. Yeah, if it starts to bother your back, let me know. Okay. I'll give you something else. Okay. Ollie's going to farmer's car, the suitcase carry. So he's doing 30 seconds, right, of that? Yeah, just march around basically for 30 seconds. Okay, great, thank you. Yeah, yep, and alternate your hands whenever you need to. All right, I think everyone looks good. So we are starting with the run. 20 minute AMRAP, and we are going in 10, three. Man's ready to rock. Three. Two, one, go. Thirty V ups. Nice. Once you guys come in, we got thirty alternating V ups. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna have to do something other than running. Something's going oh. on with my knee and my calf area. So I'll do the V ups and we can think about it. Yep. Okay. You don't have a you don't have a rower, do you? No. Okay. Um you said it's your knee that's bugging you? Yeah. Okay. It's like knee into the calf. I think the knee is, was bugging me yesterday. Does it bother you when you bend it? Or no, just... I did do the back jumps yesterday. I did step ups instead. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Um... If you can do um, mountain climbers, we can try that. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. And we'll go for a minute. Nice, Rich. Rich, remember on those V-ups for your next set when you can, let your heels come all the way to the ground each time. Nice, a little over a carry. Yeah, it's Mara. Nice, Dave. Just try and drop those hips a little bit. Good. Nice, Katie, on those lemon squeezes. Just try to let those heels touch the ground every rep. So you're gonna fully lay down. Yep, and then, yeah, there you go, pull up. Awesome, nice. Good, Vicky. Hips down a little more on those planks. Good, same thing more. Try and drop those hips down a bit. Nice, D-Mac. Nice, Chrissy. Nice, Dave. Chad Petersons. <laughs> One's gone.
Nice, Kate. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> All I see is the occasional foot fly up. There you go. Good. No rush him. Take your time. Make sure you're not kind of forcing yourself through that position. It's going to hurt. There you go, Rich. Nice. Nice, Samara. Good job, Nat. Nice, Tom. Good job, Vicky. Yeah, Dave. Nice. If it helps on the way up, Dave, you don't have to think opposites for reaching. So you can still go with both hands as you reach up towards your legs. Sometimes that helps a little bit. More on getting that chest up. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Awesome. Work, Natalie. Nice, Katie. Good lateral planks. Good job, DMAC. Good work in that torso off the ground. Nice. Good, Vicky. Nice plank position. Nice, Tom. Good, Rich. Butt down a little bit. Drop those hips down. There you go. Slide those hands forward a little bit. Good. Hips down more, Rich. A little more, a little more, a little more. There. Yep. That. Yeah, hold that. Good. Nice, Dave. John Mora. Nice job, Vicky. I know you're holding a lot of plank position, so if the uh, mountain climbers start to burn your shoulders like too much, you can elevate them too. So you can go off of like a, the side of a box or even the side of your car and do your high knees that way. So they're a little more elevated. That'll take some of the pressure off your shoulders. Nice stretch. Good job, Alejandro. Nice work, Chrissy. Good job, Net. Nice, Kate. Good. Males here, Chrissy. <laughs> nice, Kate. Good suitcase, Carrie. Good, Dave. There you go. Way to reach up. Nice job, guys. Awesome. We keep going. There you go, Tom. Good, Chrissy. Let's try and drop those hips just a touch. Yep. There it is. Nice. Good work, Kristen. Nice work, Keith.
job, D-Mac. Try and drop those hips down a little bit. Keep them low. Keep them. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Nice, Dave. Good lateral plank. Burn the shoulders. No one saw that, Tamara. <laughs> Should bring an extra keyboard for this. Nice day, Taviki. Good job, Katie. Nice, Alejandro. Nice, Kate. Take your time, don't rush. Good, Rich, there we go. Hips down a little more, just touch. Yep, there, awesome. Job, Matt. Nice, Mora. Nice, Chrissy. Good job, Tamara. Nice, good reach. Nice, C-Mac. Awesome. Good playing position. Oh, nice. Our hundred doing toes bar. Sweet. Tamara. Thanks, Vicky. Good, Dave. Nice job, Chrissy. Get that run. <clears throat> nice day, there you go. We can get into it. Good job, Rich. Nice, Katie. Good job, Samara. Nice. Good, Kate. There you go. Nice job, D-Mac. Good work, Vicky. Nice plank position. Good job, Rich. Come on, buddy. Take a breath. Bring those arms up. 
There it is, nice. Nice save. Good, Chrissy. There you go. Hips down just a touch. Nice, Tom. Job, net. We are right at five minutes, guys. Awesome work. Keep it going. Leading that home stretch. Nice, Samara. Nice, Dave. Yeah, Katie. Let's drop those hips down a little bit. Nice, Rich. Awesome. Let's go. Finish those planks right into that run. Come on, buddy. Nice, man. Yeah, wait, stay with it. There you go, D-Mac. Good job, Kristen. Nice keys. Nice, Kate. Good, Alejandro. Nice, Katie. Good job, Samara. That run, come on. Come on, Nat. Nice, Vicky. Go, Chrissy, go. Nice, Kate. <clears throat> yeah, two minutes, guys. Two minutes left. Keep pushing. Keep it going. Come on, Rich. There you go, D Mac. Nice, Dave. Go, Kate. Go. Nice, Tom. Keep it up, Mora. Nice, Mara. Good job, Vicky. There you go, Dave. Nice. Get back to that run. Good job, D Mac. Come on, buddy. You can get another run in there. Keep it going. Keep it going. Nice, Katie. Nice, Alejandro. One minute, guys. Let's go, Chrissy. Get that round in. Come on, Rich. 
Nice, Samara. Keep pushing, guys. Come on. Try and finish that round. Good work, Vicky. Good job, Nat. Nice, Keith. Let's go, Kristen. Thirty seconds. Good work, Kate. Nice, Chrissy. Ten seconds. Yeah, Dave. There you go. Come on, DMAC. Get those legs up. Keep it going. Keep it going. Three, two. One, rest. So much core. Nice, guys. Hopefully, none of you guys are doing the uh, quarantine games workout today or tomorrow. <laughs> so that's another 150 sit-ups. Um, awesome job, guys. The accessory today, we've got glute bridges. So again, laying on the ground. All right, we're going to have our heels planted. And we're driving up to the heels, right? So get to the point to where you can squeeze your butt, feel a little stretch in the quads, open the hips up a little, and then come back down, right? It's going to be 20 to 30 reps for three sets. You can totally load this up if you'd like. So if you have a kettlebell, dumbbell, child, odd object, kind of put it right on your hips. Um, you can do that weighted if you'd like, all right? Nice work. Definitely stretch out the, yeah. Wrap in the Thanks, shirt, Alan. DMAC. Bye. Thanks, Alan. You're welcome. Have a good one, guys. Thanks, awesome Alan. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Hey, Dave. You're welcome. Bye, Alan. Thanks. Thanks, Alan. Nice coaching today. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Good work, guys. Awesome job. Thank you. Thanks, Alan. Have a good day. Paint some eggs. Just so sad. <laughs> Thank you. Who has vinegar? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Yes. Thank you. Bye, Chrissy.